In this video, we talked to Bernhard Bushnell regarding their new series of not less than five rangefinders. They have made some huge improvement to the light transmission. I'm now in uh, Bushnell's booth here at uh, Chat Show talking to Ben about the new series of rangefinder you have. Yeah, absolutely. We've got uh, five new rangefinders uh, coming out from Bushnell. They're actually available now. Um, it starts out with a 1300 range, so that's going to get you 1300 yards on a reflective target. Uh, when you're talking about animals, you're going to be 600 yards and, and beyond, 600 meters and beyond. Yeah. Um, so they've They've got some really cool new features in them. Um, the, the biggest improvement that we've done is we've got two times the light transmission versus the competition. Um, and the way we accomplish that is we have a larger objective lens up front here. So ours is a six by 24, so it's a six power magnification, but we've increased the, the objective size to let more light in. And then with coatings and using an all glass optical system versus plastic lenses, uh, we can get a lot more of that light transmission all the way through to the eye. Yeah, nice. Uh, and that's especially uh, important when you're hunting in the evening. Absolutely. So, you know, for us, legal hunt time is 30 minutes before sunrise, 30 minutes after sunset. And that's when it's critical. You need to be able to, to see the animal. You need to be able to range it. And, and these make it very easy to do that. Yeah. Uh, can you mention a little bit about the other features uh, that comes with them? Yeah, so these all have uh, arc technology or angle range compensation and what that is is if you're shooting at a, a steep angle uh, the shoots like distance is going to be less than what the actual line of sight distance is. So um, if you're up in a tree stand and you're using a bow it might range at 32 yards, but it's going to shoot like it's 23 yards, depending on the angle. So if you put that 20-yard pin on there, you'll hit it. If you put the 30-yard pin, you're going to shoot right over the top or just graze the back. Yeah. So, but these do all the math for that? All of these do the math for it, so you don't have to worry about that. Yeah. Um, and they also include exo barrier. So what exo barrier is, is if you get any sort of water, oil, mud, dirt, debris on there, it's going to wick right off. Uh, so when you look through it, you're going to get a clear image. It's not going to be have water droplets in your image. Yeah, very nice. And uh, if you walk up in the line, what features do, do they add if you uh, like uh, make choose a more uh, advanced model? Sure. So that one, um, that one's going to be around the 169 price point in the U.S. Yeah. Uh, as you step up, you know, between 200 and 220 dollars for the 1700 version, that's going to get you a further distance. It's still going to have the two times light transmission, still has the arc technology, exo barrier, but it gets you out to 1700 plus yards. Uh, when you translate that into an animal, you're talking 700 plus yards or 700 meters approximately. Um, when you jump all the way up to the Nitro 1800, um, this one is going to have applied ballistics built into the rangefinder. Um, the reason it's important to have it built into the rangefinder is the app is great. It ties to an app. If I range and look at the app, it's going to tell me exactly where my yardage is and where to shoot. Um, however, if I leave this in my, in my car or it goes dead, I can still get that reading inside of the rangefinder, so it'll tell me the mills, MOAs, plus the wind that I've got dialed in on my phone. Yeah, very nice. Uh, and I also think they're getting really small. I, I bought one many years ago, and there were really big pieces of, of equipment you shall uh, haul around, but this is a small Tiny yeah. One. yeah, so that's that's something that we concentrated on heavily. Uh, Alex, our, our design mechanical engineer, took that into consideration. He wanted something that wasn't bulky, um, but was also easy to hold, because the elements we can't control. So if it's wet out there, it's raining, it's snowy, these can become slick. So he built a thumb groove in here with a rubberized coating so that you can get a nice grip. It's not going to slide out of your hand forward or back. Yeah. Very nice. 
When it comes to uh, availability, when is it out on the market? These are all available as of right now, actually. So we, we, uh, we've launched these within the last 12 months, and uh, this is the first SHOT Show that we've shown them at. We're really excited about them. Yeah, cool. And uh, uh, that's uh, as well in the U.S. as in Europe? True. Sure. Yep. They're available in both the United States and in Europe. Yeah. Very nice. I'm really happy you had time to talk to us, Ben. Hey, thank you very much. Yeah. Appreciate you stopping by. Uh, thank you. Please comment and let me know what you think about this product. Do you want to learn more? See a link in the description. Did you like this product presentation and want to see more from the chat show? Hit the subscribe button and you won't miss anything.